Hey everyone, I am back with another dumpster dive haul to share with you today. All of um, everything on my table that you see here is free. I got it from the dumpster behind the stores. Um, and vast majority of this you guys uh, kind of saw me find in my live dive. I did forget to put some stuff in my last haul video. Um, so that's left over from that. And then I actually found... Just a few more things on my way home from work last night. So, let's start over here. This is all that came out of that big black bag that I found. I have a whole bunch of Ridgies Cheddar Sour Cream flavor. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of those. 10, 10 Cheddar Sour Cream. And then I have 3... Honey Barbecue, and one Golden Original. So, lots and lots of chips here, as well as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags of Quaker Butter Popcorn Rice Crisps. Those actually sound pretty tasty. I have an 18 Mega Pack Nature Valley Sweet and Salty Nut Granola Bars. One, two, three, four, five, six ba or, uh, boxes. Of these Protein One bars, there's 10 bars in each, so there's 60 granola bars here. And then I have a whole bunch of fruit snacks as well. One, two, three, four, five, six boxes of fruit snacks. And again, there are 10 pouches in these, so that's 60 fruit snack pouches. So that's all that was in that bag. Well, and the shoe, but I never found the other shoe, so that's going back in there. But there was definitely something glittery in there. Can you see that? My hand is so shimmery. Um, and it's all over, like, the boxes and the bags. It's very pretty, <laughs> but I didn't end up finding anything, but I just love that it's all over my hand. I think it's awesome. Um, I didn't end up finding anything in the actual bag that was glittery, so I don't know what it was. Maybe it was just glitter that they dumped in there. Who knows? Um, oh, and then three gusher packs were in there as well. Okay, this is from the $5 store, which I forgot to put in my last haul. This is a Squishies 3D sticker, half of a cheeseburger or something like that. This little flashlight pen Paw Patrol. I have a pack of glitter pens. It just came unstapled on one side but it's still brand new. This little forget-me-not growing kit. It's not cracked at all so I'm not really sure why they threw it out and it is in there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. No you can't but it is in there. Um, I have this little Tinkerbell ornament. Super cute. This horse figurine and three squishies. I don't think I've ever found squishies like this before, so that's kind of fun. I have one pink narwhal and then two of these cats that you often see at like the Chinese restaurants and things like that. And then also from the $5 store, this is the only Easter basket I have found. One Easter basket. It is brand new. Nothing wrong with it. I'm thankful I found it, but um, I feel like I'm, I'm missing out because we're getting a little late in the game here to be finding Easter. So hopefully, I mean, my fingers are still crossed. Hopefully I can find some more Easter baskets and Easter things. We will see, but for now, one one is pretty good, I suppose. Moving this way, these came from that store right there. Like I said in the live dive, these were not in the dumpster. I'm not sure why um, they were in the back of the dumpster where there's like literally piles of trash. Um, this one at the bottom here, the frame part is not connected to the board. But other than that, um, this one, it is connected. It's just not perfect. But other than that, they are just fine. Super cute. Little, you can put pictures there or papers or whatever. Next to that, from the same store, is this giraffe. He does have a chip right there. But when he's standing, you can't really see it at all. His ears aren't broken. His little horns, his neck, none of the fragile stuff is broken. It's just that little uh, chip on the back right there. So that's a good find. Same store again. You kind of saw me pull this out. The other one was broken. I took the whole box that it was in right there. And I didn't know that these were uh, part of the same set. So it is a drink dispenser. It was $100. How ridiculous is that? Um, there was also some glass, like a piece of glass that was supposed to go along the bottom that was also broken. But it's this bottom crate. And then there's supposed to be two of these. But the other one was broken like you saw. This one is fine. And then the lids were both 
tucked safely in here like this. And this one still is tucked safely because the other jar was broken. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll be able to find another one. Who knows? It's still cute. I can put something else on that side. Same store. As you saw, this little barrel. I do have this exact same barrel already. Same issue on this one. It just popped open a little bit, so I will just have to tack that back on, and it will be good to go. Super cute. I am going to keep this because sometime in the future, I really do want to decorate a man cave of sorts. Not like a cheesy man cave, but a hip, cool man cave. I find some things that are like this style, and I want to put them all together, but I don't have the space right now. So I'm saving them, and for the future, eventually, I will get to that. Um, and then last thing from that store is this huge, 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 it's like a pitcher, vase, decorative piece. This was $45. The top part up here is chipped, as you can see, right along here. But I figured if I put flowers or something in it, it'll cover it up and it'll be just fine. So there's that. And then next to that, I have two things from that store. This is a, max, a wax melt. It doesn't look broken, but as you can hear, there is some broken glass. Um, I haven't really investigated this one, so I will have to keep you guys updated. Oh, it looks like the insert is broken a little bit, so I don't think that will affect its use. I think it'll still be just fine, so we'll see. And then behind that, I have taken a peek in here, but these are farmhouse bowls. They're adorable. And if you hear that, there's some broken as well. All I did was see that the top one wasn't broken, so let's investigate. Look at how cute that is. So that one is perfectly fine. This next one, perfectly fine. Mm, I think this one's fine too. Yep, so we got three out of four. Super, super cute farmhouse bowls. Three for free. Can't beat free. I love those. I'm definitely going to be keeping those. Um, and then right here, the last little bit of the haul, you did see me find as well. It is this shelf ladder thing, which I actually really do like. I have every single one of the shelves in this little plank of wood up here. I have three of the legs. The only thing is that the fourth one is broken pretty much in half. Eh, not quite. I I still think I'm going to keep it because they have a majority of the parts. I even have the hardware and the instructions. It came in that box, if you remember. Um, I think I'm going to keep it because this shape shouldn't be too hard to replicate. It does have that little nook, not nook, um, corner type thing on the top. But I think it should be pretty easy to be cut out of some plywood or something like that, and then I can stain it black. I definitely think it's worth it to keep, though, because I do like the shelf look itself. So, that's about it. Just all this, all this good stuff. So, as always, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching, and I will be back soon.